The Utterly Otterlies by Myri Hedwick The Utterly Otterly family lived in a cosy burrow, which Pa Utterly Otterly had carefully dug out of the warm brown earth. A door of neatly woven willow and ferns led inside to a comfy couch with a cushion of sea pinks. Seaweed curtains framed a large window overlooking the bay which was full of mackerel. Their home was perfect. One morning, however, Pa Utterly Utterly woke in a bad mood. I didn't get a wink of sleep, he grumped. The door kept banging and the moonlight came through the curtains. The door could be stopped, dear, said, and the curtains made thicker, suggested Ma. Nope, announced Pa Utterly Utterly. I'm finding us a new home. Ma was quite taken aback. Otto and Ottina were upset. But Pa always knew best, so they packed the pots and pans and toys and trailed out the door after him. All day long, Pa Utterly Utterly loped inland following the river. Can't we have a rest, implored Ma after a while, weary of her load. We're hungry, mewed Otto and Ottina, but Pa led on. Here it is, beamed Pa Utterly Utterly. The family squeezed through a tiny opening into a dark cave. Perfect, he said. No window, no door. I'll find some food. Ma got a fire going. Otto and Ottina played ghosts. But when it was time to go to bed, they missed the sea pink cushions and their tummies were rumbling, for Pa had only found a handful of worms. I'll catch a big trout tomorrow, he promised. Sleep well. But nobody slept well. The wind whistled through the tiny entrance and in the darkness, no one knew when it was morning. We're moving, grumped Pa utterly utterly. Here it is, beamed Pa Utterly Utterly. Behind a high waterfall was another cave. Ma, Otto and Ottina flung themselves down on a thick carpet of moss. Perfect, said Pa. A stained glass window and a door in one. And this is where the salmon leap. Hungrily, the Utterly Utterlys waited for salmon to leap. None came. Whatever, said Pa. We'll sleep well tonight. But nobody slept well. Heavy rain flooded the waterfall into the cave. Soaking wet and starving hungry, Ma and the children followed Pa over a moor. The rabbits disappeared deep into their cosy burrows when they saw them coming. Just like our own dear home, thought Ma. Couldn't we stay here, she suggested. No, grumped Pa Utterly Utterly. Follow me. Here it is, beamed Pa Utterly Utterly, dry as can be. Shelves of mushrooms and nuts lined the inside of a hollowed out tree. Hopefully, Ma unpacked her pots and pans. Ottina, Otto and Ottina somersaulted into the bed of rustling leaves, laughing and squeaking. The mushroom and nut stew didn't taste too bad, but Otto and Ottina asked, Can we have mackerel tomorrow? No, said Pa Utterly Utterly. No, see, we eat what we find. Sleep well. But nobody slept well. They woke to a terrible screeching. Nuts rained down on them. Go away, this is our home, the squirrel screamed. We want our home, wailed Otto and Ottina. Please, Pa, beseeched Ma. There was nothing wrong with our old home. Nope, grumped Pa Utterly Utterly. Follow me. For the very last time, muttered Ma, somewhat belligerently, as she shouldered her battered pots and pans. While they were going downhill, it was hard plodding through the snow, so the Utterly Utterlys tucked their tails up onto their tummies and slid down on their bottoms. I smell the sea, sniffed Otto. I smell mackerel, sniffed Ottina. Here it is, beamed Pa Utterly Utterly, opening a door of neatly woven willow and ferns almost hidden by a snowdrift. This is quite the most beautiful home I have ever seen, smiled Ma. Isn't Pa clever to find us such a perfect home at last? Oh yes, chorused Otto and Ottina. Delighted, Ma carried in her pots and pans. I'll light the stove, my dear, said Pa helpfully. Then Pa said, I know exactly where to go for mackerel for supper, which is rather strange, don't you think, this being our new home? Ma, Otto and Ottina smiled at each other, but didn't answer. They knew that everyone would have a good feed and a good night's sleep, and that Pa Utterly Utterly would never talk about moving home ever again. <laughs>